Welcome one, welcome all to a new game. I'm playing some Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Hopefully the sound isn't too loud. I haven't done anything with it. Profile name Clockwork Crew? Yeah, I mean, why not? Sure. English, Clock, yeah, whatever. Hmm, what colors should we make our ships? Maybe some red and black action? Maybe some yellow and blue action? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We can make it, uh... Just blue like so. Can try and get like a goldish here. Yeah, okay, we're good. Customize some space pirates and zombies. Let me just hit the timer real quick. You can hit the like button if you're hyped about this. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And... I don't know how any of this works. They have VR in this game now? Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're just gonna look at the options real quick. Open config, sound. I need to turn the sound down a little. The music's gotta go down a little. Yeah, right there. And we'll keep everything else up nice and high. Use legacy voices for everybody. <laughs> I, I don't even know. All right, is there a difficulty setting? Because we want to turn it up to difficulty insane. Show damage numbers, yes. Show distance numbers, yes. That sounds important. Uh, engine throttle. The game will teach us as we play. Yeah, I need to be taught. I, I haven't played this game in a long time. And good enough. Good enough. Let's campaign. A new campaign. Um, it says insane. Your base damage output is drastically reduced while every other captain gets a large boost in damage zombies. Even more so, it is recommended that you never play this mode unless you enjoy pain and suffering. Do not expect fair and balanced experience if you play insane. I mean, I, I'm curious as to what insane is like. So, uh, maybe, maybe just expert. All right, listen. It's been a while. We'll play an expert. We won't play on insane. Not to say that I'm an expert. Element 126, resin, res. It was the answer to everything. A transmutable element with the power to unlock the secrets of the universe. It gifted humanity everything there was to know about space-time and how to enslave it. Res triggered an explosion of technological advancement. Mankind spread to the far reaches of the galaxy, growing exponentially in numbers, along with the reliance on Res. The United Terran Alliance was founded to control the countless population. Eventually, they sought to ration the use of Res. As Res supplies thinned, conflict arose. An epidemic of fortune-seeking miners forced their way to the galactic core, where resin was most abundant. Eventually, the primary res source was discovered. All res stemmed from a sinister and timeless energy being, a being awakened by the use of res. They had sprung an ancient and recursive trap, res being the bait no budding civilization could possibly ignore. Corruption spilled outward into the stars, twisting the biological matrix of all it touched, integrating it into machines. Mankind's own technology, their own dead, had begun to turn against them. For years they struggled to survive against a flood of abominated metal and flesh. Billions were lost to the infection, only further feeding the expanding corruption. In spite of hopeless obliteration, the very fabric of life itself arose to fight the dark entity. As a race, humanity came together for a single purpose. In some twisted way, they had found peace. Peace, however, does not last. People fell back into their self-minded ways. Humanity turned inward in a scramble for the remaining res, which now could no longer be renewed. As the UTA lost its control over the galaxy, they collapsed the entire warp gate network beyond any hope of salvage. Human ingenuity, it turns out, knows no captivity. A resin-based drive was developed, allowing more direct travel anywhere in the galaxy. The Void was reborn as a wild, untapped, and lawless frontier. As years pass, piracy and skirmish battles rage. 
Precious res the prize. Raw worlds are recklessly colonized and disputed by legions of makeshift starships. An entire ecology of nomadic drifters emerged, endlessly recycling the wrecks of constant war. All the while, the nearly forgotten saviors of the galaxy tirelessly struggle to exterminate the last remnants of the infection. It seems like, yet again, you dimwits have flown my ship headlong into an infested region. That is the third time this week. Six million forms of communication, and I'm yet to find one that can articulate how moronic you fools are. Computer, power up the weapons and shield emitters. The doctor is in. Okay. We can fly. Four hundred range. All oh, the guns. Oh boy. Yes, yes, I remember this game. Uh, I think we're just going to die. Oh my. Oh my. Ah, it's homing weapons. Super kill. Super kill indeed. Oh, we are taking some serious damage. Boost engines. Yeah, we gotta get this guy out of here. Get this guy out. I think he's dead. We need to get this little dude out of here. Oh man, this game is already amazing. I am super excited about it. Look at all these ships. Okay, let's go nice and fast. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, this one's in trouble. He's taking serious damage. We need to stop the infection attack here. Oh my. Okay, okay, okay. This one's almost dead. Mega kill. Kill? Okay. This is, this is gnarly right now. There's so many bad guys. Go fast, go fast, go fast. It's almost dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Did we die in the tutorial? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you like to try easy mode? Like the void. <laughs> Level 13 is truly the bane of my existence. Calm. Seriously? Do you realize crew members suffocated on the lower decks because you routed power from life support to play stupid video games? Silence, imbecile. <laughs> they gave their lives for the greater good. A scientific mind must stay active or it would wither and wrinkle. I'll boil any ocean. I'll irradiate a whole litter of Narlakian pups. I'll divide by zero if I have to. I told you he'd cause trouble if you leave him to his own whim. Those implants can really make a man sick of the melon. Elsa, he is a liability if we keep him on board. Please refrain from sneaking up on another living creature like that. Do you not realize the horror people have to endure every time they look at your face? You are fortunate I did not inadvertently dismember you in a panic-induced frenzy. Everyone, shut up! To the bridge, right now! Anyone not here in 30 seconds is getting vented into space. Wow, serious. <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see everyone was able to get up at the crack of noon to work towards sustaining our survival. Let me present to you all the garbage dump we'll be sifting through this afternoon. Yes, most of this is useless junk. Yes, this is utterly pathetic. But what choice do we have? This ain't no way to treat this here metal mother. The lady deserves better. Let me be snapping on something fresh. Oh, he might not be the best candidate to operate the tractor prototype. Keep in mind that Carl built this thing, so it goes without saying that it's dangerous. 
I'd hate to have come all this way just to have Mackenzie rip us apart like a rabid chimp with Carl's untested toys. You know how those two can be. I don't really care who does what, but we need to jump on this opportunity to expand the mothership. That cool module will give us some elbow room, or those wings will give us some much-needed firepower. Let's get those modules fitted so we don't have to listen to each other breathe anymore. Please pay close attention to the Moving Picture Feature Film Show. You will be subjected to standardized testing following this demonstration. Alright, Mothership is a modular ship. Take the ship apart and reassemble it to fit your needs. Use cores to increase the frame size of your mothership. Cores have stats that will boost the ship's speed, shields, health, and maneuverability. Attach wing nose engine parts to your frame. Wing nose engines all come equipped with weapons. Tractor part left control. Remove part hold left control. Okay. That, the core bit, that's a wing bit. So we grab this. We slap you there. Put you back on. Put you here. Oh man, I forgot how awesome this piece of the game was. What exactly do you think you're doing? Stop leaning on that overhead projection like a crutch. This isn't some archaic top-down space shooter we're playing here. This is real, brutal, kitten-eating life we're talking about. Join the rest of us down here in reality. Okay. Camera mode C. Our omnilithium capacitor is now tapped out. I've devised a method to simply eject the spent cell while fabricating a new one out of surrounding space dust. Do not ask me how it works, or why it makes sense. All that you need to know is that you will be unable to fire the ship's weapons while the new cell is being installed. Okay. Reloading, cone of fire capacitor, hack reserve strike craft, shields, weapon groups. Um... If I push C again, that gets us here, okay. Can I move? Reload is R. Oh, I get it. It wants me to reload. Uh, now what? Alright, I'm bringing the weapons online. If that is indeed what you want to call this garbage. Let's blast open some of these containers. Maybe we can find something to eat that won't make our hair fall out. I have decided that it would be best if basic resource towing was left up to the ship's computer. These items are too fragile to be handled by Neanderthals. It brought me great pain to watch you struggle with the tractor beam. <laughs> oh man, this game. Engine's online. We are moving. Can I move, move? I can move. Crates left, pick up crates. So you can see in the bottom left corner there. Uh, I can't actually see it. Whoa. There must be some guns. Uh, I think we have to break these. Okay. Whoa, missiles. Okay, so then if we go the other side. You can shoot and you gotta reload. Okay. Goons 30. Please assemble Interesting. and perform the following diagnostic test on the kinetic shield system. Your life and my hull may depend upon it. Mm -hmm. Shields have their own power system. They can be boosted with capacitor use. If shields are boosted, they take half damage and regenerate twice as fast. You are unable to shoot. Shields consume the capacitor while boosted, so no boosting while reloading. So... How... Boost shields for space. All modern space-capable engines come equipped with special regenerating boost capacitators. Please practice making rocket go fast now. <laughs> yeah, it's got boost in the bottom left corner. So if I 
hit shield capacitor. What does that actually do? It turns it green? And it just makes the shield better. Oh, capacitor has been launched. And we have to wait for it to recharge. Let's go over this way. Go fast. Afterburners. Let's go. I have to say I'm impressed. You're all able to lace this thing back together without eating each other. The only thing that remains is to test the res drive. Mackenzie, start the pre-flight procedure. From scotch and caviar to beers and tears, how is it that Jameson is the only other one with ambition to dig out of this dung heap? Just cook those bloody engines up and lay in a course for somewhere that isn't here. Please. Okay, but I want... I want to shoot that. Oh, wow. I think the missiles are coming out of the... So if I... Coming out of the engine. What if I want to grab all this stuff? So there's like a bit of a 3D look. Okay, what, what is this? How? Okay, so these are dangerous. These are engine cells or something. They blow up anyway. They don't give us anything nice. Um, tactical. Hit tab. We'll go to the star map. Welcome to the Super Ultra Star Map 9000. Mm -hmm. This holographic interface will allow you to scan all known galactic entities, plot mothership destinations, and communicate with other ships and star bases. Please practice untethered exploration now. Time moves when you move very similar to like Banner Lord or Mountain Blade War Band. That's why I like this game. All transportation, mining, harvesting, and communications done via the star map. Take your time, plan your actions, explore the new territory. Push right mouse button to set a destination on the map. Use mouse wheel to adjust zoom levels. Saved. Read this. Now that we are finally underway, let me remind you that you cannot simply urinate in the corner and proclaim you are the alpha meat husk. You are a minuscule fish in an otherwise colossal ocean of galactic proportions. Unless you wish to be dead before breakfast, read the advisory overlays I have painstakingly programmed for your survival. Do not just click past them and complain on the galactic forums that you did not get the memo. <laughs> Ignorance will not be excused. Read or die. Please familiarize yourself with the star map command functions. Mm -hmm. If you do not assimilate this information now, it will be waiting for you at dinner time. <laughs> okay, all transportation, mining, harvesting, communications done via the star map. Anytime you use the assemble ship button to drop out of warp and edit your mothership, oh, at any time you can, uh, consider selling or dumping ship parts that you're not using. They will weigh you down, make your burn more res during transit. You can view tutorials anytime you push the tutorial button. Push right mouse button to set destination on map and mouse wheel to turn. Just explore, okay? So it wants us to go here, but I could also go here to get lore. Oh, you can also just fly. If we tune our warp frequency just right, we can sometimes pick up residual data transmissions bouncing around the old warp network. Though the gates are smashed beyond repair, some seem to be able to hang on to those low density data packets like a ghostly reminder of our past. Uh, yeah, every lore point you scan will give you goodies. Give me goodies. Anti potty mouth initiative. <laughs> scan in view, come on. <laughs> what is it? Do I have to read it? Human history is riddled with examples of reoccurring themes, throwbacks, revolutions, and revelations. One such reoccurrence is the use of colorful metaphors to heighten one's emotional resonance. While it had been commonplace for even kindergarten children to swear and curse for nearly a millennia, it has recently become taboo. 
The Anti-Party Map Initiative is a communal funded program aimed at refining the human language while increasing speaking efficiency by removing filler slang. The initiative overall has been very successful, while the proposed gore and violence reduction program has not received a single vote. The Friends Don't Shoot Friends in the Face program is not even expected to make it to the voting phase. <laughs> oh, this game, man. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff for that. What are these guys? Oh, that makes me move. Um, okay. So you want me to go down there. Here's some wreckage, though. And faction info, engine mode. So burn. Okay, there's our inventory. There's a settled ship. There's faction info. Let's have a look here. Lots. There's, it's the clockwork crew, baby. 60 goons. No militia, no hunters. Oh, these are the five factions. Part size 104, core 2 of 14. And our ship is made of garbage, essentially. Okay. So let's just um, head on down this way. All right, we're mobile. If you are all thoroughly satisfied, we can finally get on with it. We still have stickies out there, not to mention a laundry list of equipment we need before we can do anything about them. Time is of the essence, and we've wasted so much of it already. As anxious as I am to find a so-called sticky, we have not encountered one for many cycles. The ship does not yet have a nacelle to stand on. Therefore, we need to scout more easy opportunities to exploit. I agree. Gotta pick off the weak. What are you? The Union. Friendly, in transit, level 2, threat 8, markup 80%. This is called the ditch. Okay, let's just hit up the wreckage. Apparently, your intestines are so long that if you strung them up end to end, you'd probably die. <laughs> <laughs> this here metal mother doesn't like to loot the dead, but what need do they got for intestines? Loot the wrecks of war to find various supplies. Searching wrecks takes time. You may have to search the wrecks several times or extract all the loot. Ah, this resource was owned by another captain. Oh, it's owned by this guy. Owner Smitty. Not everyone could be a winner if you want to avoid joining the ever-expanding ranks of losers. You should do whatever you can to survive. That includes looting the dead for supplies and maybe candy. Okay, so there's time. Um... There are 47 and 30, I guess. There's just more stuff. Let's do it again. And I think that's going to get it, too. So there's 13 guys left. Scavenge over time. There we go. Though I am completely disgusted by the idea of cooperating with others in a fashion that implies intellectual equality, it often cannot be avoided. Just try not to get extorted too severely. <laughs> yeah, so there's markup. Um, home applications provide a bonus tech. Uh, Starbase that can claim local features. There's a lot here. Um, trading with ships can be more profitable. In addition to a markup, Starbase also charge tax and taxes. Yes. Um, fight. I can fight it. We can go to the arena. Cut your teeth in the arena. Earn some resources. Much needs experience without putting your own ship in harm's way. I mean... Somehow, for some void-forsaken reason, the galaxy isn't quite violent enough for some people. That's why we have simulation arenas. They kind of work like a mind-rotting video game, giving homicidal psychopaths a safe environment to... Practice. Practice. It might not be such a bad idea if we gave it a go. I know it hurts, but we just might learn something. And maybe earn a few slivers of scrap for our troubles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, yeah. Core count 10. Cadet level 0. Simulator ships. Your real ships will be safe in port. What's proving grounds? Test your current ship. Okay. Arena program. Let's go. Ooh, this is a big naughty ship. 
Max capacitor says, read this. A ship built specifically to maximize synergies for its engines or front-mounted chainsaw beam. It has multiple defender fighter hangers to create a missile screen and also to act as a secondary punch when in close. It also sports four synergized cloud torpedoes to soften up targets and overwhelm defenses. Yeah, well, okay. We are being shot at. We are being shot at. Oh, we're being... We can aim, we can aim. Oh no. We're getting we're getting cooked already. We wanna go fast, so let's get out of here. Yeah, we're just taking damage. Let's take some take some time out of here. Let's try and get our shield back up. We'll cook our capacitor for it. Yeah, he does pretty darn hard. I don't actually know how to shoot missiles. Um, we're on fire all. Okay, so we're just gonna reload our capacitor and then we'll go back in. Our shield didn't quite get fully recharged. And there goes our fighters. Ooh. Ooh. Are these all the guns we have? Really? Ow. Ow. Shield up, shield up. Shields offline. We have taken damage, I repeat. Oh no! Wow. Yeah. Uh, control. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we lost our, our piece. This guy's gonna rip us. I don't even know what guns this thing has. There, it's shooting its missiles. Just get that stuff out of there. Okay, our shield is offline. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Let's try and get that shield back. Oh, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> Level up and try again. <laughs> we got wrecked. Okay, I feel like we can do that fight. Let's go to Starbase. Fight in the arena. Man, we definitely can't do it with our existing ship. You simulate a ship. We can do this. We can do this. I think I just misplayed it. That's all. Is there synergized with cloud torpedoes? Got four torpedoes you want to shoot. Chainsaw beam. Maximize synergies for its engines and front mounted chainsaw beam. Is there a way to like go fast? Dodge that. Hit the brakes. Turn the shields up. Shields up. Okay, we are hitting them. Shields up. Ooh, back up, back up. Chainsaw beam him, chainsaw beam him. We're almost out of capacitor. Go peace out. Just get around this thing. Oof. Oof. Oh. Ow. Big damage, big damage, big damage. We need our shields to come back. And we took some more damage from that gun. Hit the brakes. Shields back. Wow, these his fighters are just get out. 
Hit the brakes. Turn into them. Shield up. Full, oh, wow, full damage on that. Hit him with the chainsaw beam. Hit him with the chainsaw beam. Get, get behind him. Get behind him. Our shields are down. We're just going in as hard as we can. I take it back. I take it back. No. Oh no, we lost a piece. I can no longer turn. I can no longer turn. Hit the brakes! Oh man. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, folks. Hope you uh, are kind of excited for Space Pirates and Zombies 2, like I am. This game is so good. Um, yeah, so I'll just stop doing the, <laughs> the arena fight. We need some levels. Um, but we can get some of this stuff, so. We have, how much res do we have? Res burn 93. There's the timer. Where's our res? We have 94 res here. We have too much people. One, 140 out of 60? I don't know what that means. So what we'll do in the next episode, we're going to trade. Uh, we can get some junk parts. We can get some good parts probably. And, uh, you know, hit our, hit our ship up a little bit. I'll see you there.